about to leave Already packing, come with me I'm not really asking We'll get away to a place where we don't know Alright, so today we're on Palisade Rims in Palisade, Colorado. I'm also going to be reviewing my new Intense Carbine, which is Intense's 29er. Um, I just picked this thing up. I'm really excited about it. Um, this is actually the first long travel bike that I've had. So, let's do a little bit of a talk about what kind of came stock on this bike. So, this is the um, Carbine Expert build. Uh, came with up front the uh, RockShox Yari. So, that's 160 millimeters up front. DT Swiss Hubs rims wrapped with Maxxis high roller twos pretty awesome really aggressive coming back uh, I got rid of the uh, rubber grips that this normally came with and I threw on the ESI foam grips I really love these things they just feel really comfortable on the bike talking about like the shifting and things like that so this bike came with um, GX uh, 12 speed I really like these things coming down on the back we got the RockShox Deluxe so this is 155 millimeters on the rear Really feels plush. The great thing about this bike is it's a pretty good climber. It feels great across the mid strokes. It gets a little light if you're doing a lot of uphill, so it's hard to kind of keep the front end down, but this thing just mashes anything going downhill. So this is an all carbon frame. Uh, kind of coming back, we got the uh, Truvative Descendant uh, Cranks, 32 uh, tooth cog up front. Kind of coming back, so you got that big plate of a cassette on the back. So this is the GX Eagle 10 by 50 cassette. I love this thing. There's a huge range of gears. You never have a problem finding something that you're comfortable in climbing. Coming around uh, on the back side. So this thing came stock with uh, Shimano XT brakes. I really love these things. They're easy to work with, um, easy to bleed, easy to arrange and adjust. Uh, just love that. 180 millimeter rotors, super good for uh, stopping. Got a lot of grip on them. This bike comes stock with the uh, Fox Transfer dropper post. It's 150 millimeters. Gives you lots of room to drop this and get your butt back over that wheel going down some of these drops in the downhills. Up top, WTB Silverado saddle. Uh, I've had a couple of these things. They're pretty comfortable across the top. They feel good when you're doing long rides and bombing down hills. Coming up front. So I changed out the stem on this uh, just to kind of give this new PNW components um, stem a go. This thing comes uh, stock with a GoPro mount on the front. It's really cool. It's one less thing that, especially if you're making videos, you don't have to worry about uh, bringing an extra adapter to put a GoPro on the front. So this thing just allows you to snap your GoPro in there, bolt it on, and you're good to go. Coming across the top, you have a 780 millimeter Renthal bar. I really like the wider bars, especially for a guy that's a little bit wider up top. It gives me a little more uh, width to kind of just get comfortable going down hills. Um, Again, got the uh, XT brakes, um, which just really modulate really well. They feel good. The levers have always fit me really comfortably. Uh, I just like them. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to bomb this uh, Palisade Rims tour. Hopefully you guys will get to check out some cool views off to the side. This is, I've got some huge cliffs and views of the uh, valley below. Uh, so let's get riding. I think there's a rock going in between our legs. I was like looking down. Right. Got Aaron with MTB. Woo! Tearing up Palisade Rim. <gasps> ah, it's gnarly. Ah! Awesome views. Nice. Yeah. Tree. Oh shit. 
Gnarly. Oh shit. Woo! On the edge. On the edge. Up, up, and up. Definitely do not want to fall down there off the left. That would be a bad day. It. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for 